What's up, America? Neil here with Jogger Farms Academy. Today, we're going to talk about rifle positions and how we use them. When it comes to possible positions, there's two ready positions, two carry positions, and a weapons retention position. And we use these interchangeably based on the situation and what's necessary. The old joke is if you're in a helicopter, point down. If you're in a boat, boat point up. Uh, but reality is it depends on the scenario right if I'm going upstairs maybe a high ready is in the position I need to be in so maybe I'm in an area where there's uh, you know people on the ground small kids whatever maybe a low ready isn't the right move for that so we're gonna take a look at this so first of all we'll talk with the carry positions so again we have a high carry and a low carry those are our two positions so in a high carry position it's exactly what it sounds like it's a carry position so it's me potentially moving from one point to another. I'm gonna have this with the uh, port up in this particular case. This is high carry. The uh, buttstock is gonna be well underneath my arm here, so I have a good place to hold it, kind of stabilize it here. I could move fairly quickly with this. Uh, most importantly, my support hand in this case is free and always in this area, meaning that if I move around, my hand comes with me. The reason for that is one, I can do things, open doors, whatever the case is. I can, you know, create space, move something back, whatever the case is. But my hand is also here so that I'm able to drop the rifle into position. So that basically from, a, from this position, I can go from this high carry position, drop my gun down, pull it in, and I'm ready to shoot. So this would be a high carry. Again, my hand is free. Wherever my, my head and gun go, so does my hand. So high carry. Then we have a low carry. So a low carry would be uh, obviously uh, we're muzzled down. We're, we could use this. We could use the high carry in a stack as well. But uh, maybe there's a person directly in front of me. So my firing hand is going to be in the proper position with my thumb on the safety lever, as it should be at all times. I have my proper grip. The muzzle's pointed straight down. And I could literally be, if you were a person, if you were in front of me, whether it's your back, whatever the case is, and we're going to move forward, uh, the muzzle is straight down. So I can see everything I need to see, and this is a, a low carry position. So if I had to go from point A to point B um, with the muzzle down, this is the position I would go. And then, of course, from this position, if I have to, same concept here, I'm going to bring the muzzle of the gun up to my cheek weld, suck it in tight, and I'm ready to go. I can take my safety off and re-engage it, whatever I need to do. Ideally though, the carry positions aren't really going from a carry position to a shooting position. That's what the next set is for, the ready positions. Let's begin with high ready. High ready is, my again, my stock is tucked underneath my arm. I don't want to try to hold this out here and use all the leverage on my wrist. I'm using my uh, lat and my forearm here to kind of hold the gun in here. It's my eyes, muzzle, target. So I'm all in a row, right, right here like this. This is a ready position. So just to make sure that we're clear on the two. A carry position would be utilized in a very low risk area. I'm moving equipment, I'm just going from a vehicle, I'm going to a room, whatever. I, I don't anticipate in dealing with uh, a threat, okay? However, in a high ready position, now something sketchy. There's a, potentially somebody with a weapon, whatever the case is, but this is now the next level. So a high ready as I'm here, again, eyes, muzzle, target. And again, same scenario, if I need to mount the gun, I'm gonna drive the gun out, bring my uh, stock to my cheek, and suck the gun in, okay? So high ready, from here to here. That's high ready. Then we have a low ready. Low ready, uh, probably the most utilized ready position there is. The low ready is that the stock okay especially the very bottom of the stock is positioned on my body so i have an index point so if i i don't have to look down and measure i know that this is my spot right here so that when i bring this gun up right here i'm ready to go okay so i'm basically i'm on target and then i bring it down to roughly a 45 degree angle give or take again it depends on the situation in both ready positions, by the way, one key important thing is that we are able to see the threat's hands. Super important. I need to know, okay, am I about to bring this gun up and mount it on a person with a cell phone 
or am I bringing this up with a person with a gun? Same thing with high ready. Okay, I want to be able to see eyes, muzzle, target. I want to be able to see hands if that's the case. And know that when I go to seat this, that I'm doing that because there's an actual threat. So again, low ready, pretty much remount the rifle, bring it down so that I can see hands, and this is a low ready position. Low ready, I mean, we should be able to snap that round off less than a second. From low ready to an accurate shot within a reasonable distance in one second. So that brings us to the last one, and the last one is weapons retention. So weapons retention is where the gun is pretty comfortably tucked. I obviously can't see my sights. I have the gun very secure to my body. I'm holding here. It could be a position where maybe I'm in a short hallway or something, and I'm just holding this kind of nice and tight to my body here. I have a good position on it. If someone were to come out of a doorway or something that I didn't know, this would be a great position for me to be able to retain my gun. This could also be a position that I could go down to if, say, I was in a roll ready, a high ready, some position, and someone's put their hands on the gun, this would be a good position to get into where I have it nice and tight and a good control of it with two hands on it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and load up. I'll show you these positions in live fire. There we go. All right, so let's start off with uh, a high ready. So again, high ready, I'm tucked in here nice and tight. My thumb, although you can't see it, it's going to always in every position, by the way, it's going to be rested basically right on the safety lever so that I'm able to take that off if I need to. So high ready again, sight, muzzle, target. I'm here and I'm, I'm going to go hot on this one. High ready. Then of course we're going to have low ready and low ready again, we're kind of right where we need to be, dropping down a little bit, low ready, low ready. Then we have a high carry position. Again, the high carry position and the carry positions really we need to shoot, but just to demonstrate that, so I'm up here, maybe I'm looking around, checking my surroundings, whatever the case is. I see something here. Okay, and I could come, I, in that case, I would come back to a high ready, of course. But for whatever reason, let's say we come back to our high carry. We're gonna demonstrate this from low carry again. Pretty rarely would we have to go from low carry to a, to a shooting position, but nonetheless, we're gonna be here again. This is typically where we would be in a stack or we're moving in a really tight quarters, wherever the case is. But again, what we do is come up. And then again, from here, I would just come down to a low ready, realistically. But again, this would be a low carry. And then weapons retention, I'm not gonna shoot from that. Um, but that could be, I'm here and then suddenly, you know, in a very close proximity, someone comes out and I'm basically putting rounds down range center mass, but again, not a typical shooting position. Well, that pretty much covers uh, the positions for a rifle positioning, two, two carries, two readies, and uh, weapons retention. This is taught right now, currently in basic SWAT training and pretty much across the country. Uh, that's something I've utilized in my career. And positions that are good to know based on the situation that you're going to encounter. So if you guys ever want to expand your knowledge in rifles and you want to come out and see us, please do. We have uh, links to our website down there as far as classes are coming up. In fact, we have one coming up now. I'm not going to mention times because this video hopefully is up for a very long time. But check us out. We would love to train with you guys. Hopefully you guys learned something. You have questions, put them down there. Comments, obviously. It's always fun to read those. You know how to find us here on YouTube. Of course, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, and we put all our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.